Welcome to the basic tutorial on an GUI. This tutorial will provide you with the absolute minimum amount of information you need to start creating UIs within GUI. Let's start by creating a new scene. All new scenes start with a main camera, but we're not going to need it for this tutorial, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. I will then save the scene, calling it test. First thing we need is to go to the NGUI menu and choose create a new UI option. This will bring up a wizard for you, which I have docked in the bottom right corner of my screen. This wizard lets you specify the layer on which your UI will reside and the camera type which it will use. I'm just going to stick with the default values for now for simplicity's sake. And here's the new UI. In the next tutorial I will go through each of these nodes and explain what scripts on them do. But for the sake of this tutorial simplicity I'm just going to start creating widgets. You do that by going to the NGUI menu and selecting the create a widget option. This will bring up another wizard for you which I have right here. You will need to specify which atlas and font you're going to use for creation of your widgets. Clicking on the buttons will not actually give you any options because we haven't used anything recently. Let's go to the NGUI examples and atlases folder and choose an atlas. Sci-fi atlas. Simply drag and drop the sci-fi atlas into the field. Do the same thing with the font. Drag and drop the sci-fi normal font into this field. You are now ready to create widgets. Let's start with a slice sprite. Here you have an option to specify which sprite you're going to use. I'm going to use the dark sprite. And simply click the add to button. Within GUI, everything you see in the scene view is going to match everything you see in the game view. What you see is what you get. If I was to move this, you will notice that the game view changes accordingly. Same thing with the rotation. If you're familiar working with Unity, you will be familiar working with NGUI. Let's make the sprite bigger a bit. Whenever you click this Make Pixel Perfect button, it's gonna round, round up these values here conveniently making it look pixel perfect at your current resolution. You can also set the pivot point of this widget to be something other than center if you want. But in my case I'm just going to leave it with center. Of course you can choose a different sprite if you don't like this one. For example, this is what it would look like with a button sprite and a light sprite. I'm just going to stick with dark however. Now I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger and leave it at that. Next I'm going to add a tiled sprite to create a background for this window. I'm going to choose the honeycomb sprite which was designed to tile. Here's the sprite. If I scale up the sprite you will notice that it actually neatly tiles creating a perfect background for you. And also color the sprite to make it look a little bit more interesting. Next I will add another slice sprite. But I'm gonna choose the light sprite this time. And I'm gonna position it right here to create a title bar. I'm going to also give it some color. Now let's create a button. Just like before, select the button template and click the add to button. I'm going to move it down a little bit and let's see what happens when I hit play. Working with NGUI, whenever you want to select a widget in a scene, simply click on it. You will notice that 
its outline in blue, which indicates the current selection, and the sprite is also selected in the hierarchy. Say, for example, I wanted to change the color of this button because I don't like it uh, being so gray. Click on it and change it. Let's add something else. A slider. Now, before you hit the Add To button, you might notice that it actually has the button selected here, saying that that's going to be its parent. Chances are that's not what you want, so let's select the panel instead, and then click the Add To button. So here's the slider. If you hit the Play button now, you can actually interact with it. Of course we can change the color. Let's make it orange, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Now, we should probably add some text to the title bar. You can do that by selecting a label. And clicking the Add To button. We can type something here, and it will show up immediately. We can also embed colors, like that. But let's add another widget. This time I'm going to go with a checkbox. Just like before, I will want to add it to the panel. I'm going to choose a dark background and I'm going to choose the X for the check mark. Here's a checkbox. If you hit play, you can interact with it. And this concludes the basic tutorial for NGUI. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go over all the elements that we have created and explain what the scripts on them do. Thanks for watching.